Hi, it's Carrie here again. Uh, been a little bit, been about a week since I gave you um, your last tip. So this third principle of culture and fusion um, is insist on a healthy work-life balance. And um, for me, I, I wanted to give you my number one tip on how I'm able to have that healthy work-life balance. And um, as a recovering people pleaser, I have learned how to say no. And um, I'm not perfect at saying no, but more and more I try to look at my schedule. Do I really have to go to that meeting? Do I really have to volunteer at school? Do I really need to uh, go and sit at my uh, kids' practice? Can I go run an errand or, or do something or go for a walk? So it's that balance, right? And at work, many times there are tons of meetings that you're sorry I had a call um, that you're just sitting through um, so how can you get around those so I invite you um, for principle number three insist on a healthy work-life balance just practicing how to say no and um, really look at that on a day-to-day -day basis so uh, more from me soon on principle four I'm really excited I'm starting my internal trainings on culture infusion with all of our actualized team just to make sure they know what we have to offer Offer. So um, it's just really doing an interactive uh, seminar with them. Um, I'm calling them mind expanding experiences. So I'm off to do that, uh, but I wanted to give you principle three, insist on a healthy work-life balance and how can you say no. Bye.